Hello everyone, welcome to my science classes. Today we are going to talk about a group of organisms called decomposers. Let's see today's lesson content. We will talk about decomposers, importance of decomposers in ecosystem, decomposers in nutrient cycle, and recycling carbon. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to know the importance of decomposers in the nutrient cycle and be able to describe the carbon cycle and give an example of compounds that contain carbon. Let's get started. When you have an empty bottle, do you recycle it so glass or plastic can be used over again? The earth has its own recycling system and here the organisms, decomposers, help it. So decomposers feed on dead animals and plants and they play a vital role in the cleaning up crew of the earth. Imagine if there were no decomposers, what the world would look like. All dead insects, dead animals, dead plants, everything would just pile up everywhere and the world would look like very messy. So decomposers are very important in the earth. The examples of decomposers are fungi and bacteria. They are small organisms which break down nutrients in the dead organisms and make it useful for the nature to use it again. They break down organic matter so they can be used over again in the form of carbon and nitrogen. Let's see the importance of decomposers in an ecosystem. When organisms die, nutrients in them are broken down by decomposers and then become available to be used again by plants. So the organic materials in the dead organisms are broken down into inorganic substances so they can be absorbed by the roots of the plants and can be used in the process of growth and photosynthesis. Now let's see how these organisms actually do this decomposing process. They do that by making enzymes and releasing those enzymes onto a dead matter and then break down substances which are now able to be absorbed. We will see the details in the animation. We can see a cell of fungi or bacteria which acts like a decomposer. We can see a large organic molecule that are too big to be absorbed by these cells, so they produce enzymes. And now the enzymes break down the large molecules into smaller molecules. And those small soluble molecules now can be absorbed by this fungi or bacteria. This is how the decomposers feed on dead matter and organic materials. Let's see a fun fact about exploding whales. Why do you think whales explode after they die? The answer is because during the process of decomposition, methane and other gases accumulate in the body of the whale, but since it has a very thick and tough blubber in the skin, it cannot be released, and then over time it leads to explosion. We previously mentioned importance of decomposers in the ecosystem. Let's see the importance of decomposers in the nutrient cycle. Decomposers, as we mentioned, break down complex materials into simpler inorganic materials so the plants and the other primary producers can use for growth and reproduce. So when the organisms die, these organic materials are becoming simpler enough so they can be absorbed by the plants and later plants will be eaten by primary consumers and so on so far the energy will flow in the food chain. Let's see the recycling of carbon. There are several processes involved which brings carbon dioxide into the system, into the cycle and which releases carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Let's start with the process of getting carbon into the cycle. Carbon dioxide is a gas found in the air and it is used in the process of photosynthesis. Plants absorb carbon dioxide and use it in the photosynthesis. And now carbon is in the compounds found in the plants. 
As we know, plants are also able to do respiration. When they respire, they release carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. And now let's see another step in the recycling carbon. Producers, which are plants, now they have carbon compounds in them. And then when they are eaten by animals, carbon compounds in these plants are getting transferred to the animals. Since animals, just like other organisms, they respire, they respire carbon dioxide and release it back into the atmosphere also. And now let's imagine these animals or plants die, and as we earlier mentioned, when they die, they are decomposed by bacteria or fungi. And decomposers, while they feed on them, they also respire and release carbon dioxide back into the air. In certain conditions, dead materials, which are not decomposed, can become a fossil. And later, these fossils will become a fossil fuel. We can get fossil fuels like coal, oil and natural gas. And when we use them in the power stations and burn them in the process of combustion, which is also releasing carbon dioxide into the air. So we describe the overall process of recycling carbon. They were main process that get carbon into the cycle, just like photosynthesis and respiration and combustion, which release carbon back into the air. This is the end of today's lesson. Today we described importance of decomposers in an ecosystem. We also saw the details of recycling carbon. I hope you guys find the lesson helpful. See you next time. Goodbye.